G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, it's been a long time since I did a review for Banggood. And today I'm going to review something that I can really use, and I'm sure a lot of people out there can really use. And it's in this little brown box. And what is it? Well, as the title of the video says, it's a it's a it's basically a, a power converter. It steps down AC voltage, the mains voltage, uh, down to 12 volt DC so you go from AC to DC and it basically allows you to run a diesel heater one of those Chinese diesel heaters off of a uh, portable power pack like a, a Blue Eddy EcoFlow or a Jackery without tripping the, the, the 10 amp breaker that they all have in them the problem is with them that if you run them off of the DC side of things, it basically overloads the the output of 10 amp maximum, and with 12 volts, that equates to less than 135 watts. And when these heaters are starting up, they demand at least 135 watts. So, what happens? Well, you get this. the zero to error screen of death basically that comes up when the power supply is interrupted and basically at this point in time it's tripped the breaker in the portable power supply okay so basically we have to do away with the DC side of things and you get switch across to the AC here's a, here's a, a, a screen shot of what we're talking about as far as the watts and the amps that we're dealing with. Okay, so looking at this chart, you can see where the issue is. The glow plug is drawing 135 watts approximately at start up and shut down. That equates to 11.25 amps at 12 volt DC. That will trip the breaker because the DC output on all these power bricks is 10 amps maximum, so we're more than 10% over. So that's where it is. 10 amps by 12 volts is a is 120 watts. So you've got 120 volt, watts capacity on the DC output, but we're asking it for 135. So it's obviously not going to go, and that's why it uh, it shuts down. Now, if we switch to the AC side, and we go 110 volts for 135 watts. We only need 1.25 amps from the power brick to uh, to do the same job. Same thing here, 240 volts, half an amp. So you can see that by increasing the voltage, you lower the amperage for the same wattage. That's the way Watts law works. And yeah, from that we can see that, you know, in this case the EcoFlow River Pro's got 600 watt capacity. Well, that would easily handle it, and I mean, most power bricks are good for a couple of hundred. So, yeah, I'd be very surprised if there's much out there that basically couldn't run this diesel heater. So here's a typical setup. You've got your diesel heater. They come in various shapes and sizes. And here, over here, you have your, your portable uh, power supply, power brick, or whatever you want to call it. It's an EcoFlow, in this case, and it will run off the DC, but only just. And what happens is every time I start up the heater and the glow plug kicks in at the start, and they also kick in at the, at the wind down as well, but the main problem is at start up, it will basically trip the breaker in the power brick on the, f on the first two attempts. On the third attempt, for some strange reason, it doesn't trip it, and it runs merrily on from there on but it's a bit of a pain you've got to keep firing it up firing it up and uh, that's basically what you've got a lot of these power bricks will not even fire up at all it's basically they just they just uh, overload all the time so at least the EcoFlow will run eventually but it takes an effort so 
let's uh, have a look at some screen grabs of a product that we're actually going to review and try out. And uh, yeah, check this out. So, what's in the box, Rob? Power supply cord, AC, for your power brick or for the house, depending on how you're going to use it. And then we've got the unit in a bubble wrap pack. And that's all there is to it. It's only a, a power brick, basically. And it looks like it's all sealed. No, no fan or ventilation. But, uh, yeah. That's it. I'll take it out and we'll check it out closely. Right, well the first thing that's obvious is it comes with the uh, European plague if you live in Australia. And uh, what I do like about it is it comes with a connector on it, a DC connector which enables you to connect directly to the connector on the, the, uh, the line of diesel heaters at Banggood Cell which are branded as H Calorie. That's good, I mean that's plug and play, you just plug it in, away you go, no soldering, nothing to do. I'll have to take that connector off because I use the XT60 and um, I'll just fit an XT60 on and then I'll be good to go, but I, I do like that. that, that's that's very good. As far as the um, the AC voltage, is, it's just automatic input, uh, one, 100 to 240 and 50 to 60 hertz, and the output is uh, 15 amps, they say on here. Okay, rated output's 110 watts, and peak is 180 watt. As we're asking for 135 watt, it's well within the, the peak range, so it shouldn't have any trouble meeting that. Uh, the glow plug's only using 135 watts for a very short period anyway, so I don't expect any issues. It should handle that quite okay. Okay, so we've got the XT60 connector soldered on. I mean, you obviously fit whatever you need. And now we're ready to hook it up. Now you can see on here, it's actually got a, a sticker that says 12 volt up to 15 amps. So they warn you that these things are going to drag, you know, anywhere from, well, basically more than 10 amps up to 15 amps. So you've been warned. Right, the brick is plugged into the AC. Turn on the eco flow. Turn on the AC. Green, green light comes on on the brick. You can see how big the brick is. It's not very big at all, you know. Okay, I'll fire up the heater and we'll have a look at the the meter to show you the, the draw that it's going to uh, to use. So there we are. It's around the 135 figure I was expecting. So it's in its glow plug mode, and it will do this for start up and for shut down. And away she goes, near the pump. So it's on the auto setting and uh, Firing up, no problem whatsoever. I mean, this is a 600 watt power brick, power station, and we're only using 140 something watts, so we've got massive amount in reserve. And you know, most of the even the small portable 
you know, power stations are a couple of hundred watts, so yeah, you should be able to run it on just about anything really. So what do I think of it? I think it's great. I mean it's made for this job, it's fit for purpose, it's good quality cables and you know, the plastics seem pretty good. The unit is well sealed, there's no holes for little fingers to be poking and prying in or bugs to crawl in and even though I couldn't find a waterproof rating on it, it looks to be very well sealed. I think it would be reasonably weatherproof. Um, same as any other power pack I expect, you know, for a computer or something. But overall I think it's a great unit. It did the job easy peasy, barely got warm and for $42 Australian, I think it represents good value. This is the perfect compact little solution that would just be great for camping and sure, you know, yeah, I think it's the way to go. So if you want one of these, well, the link is in the video description. There's also a discount code there you can quote and get some more money off. And yeah, basically this is one of the better products I've reviewed lately. I think it's great and certainly I'm pleased to have it. I think you will be too. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.